Um, yeah, it's been going pretty good. It's um, you know been up and down. You know, been a lot of struggles, but in, um, in, the, in the long run, it's helped my body. Um, I feel good. Um, I don't have any injuries right now. On the court was my, my first time. You know, with team practice was yesterday. I feel real good on the court. I feel light. I feel explosive, and I just you know ready for the uh, you know the regular season to start. What's the biggest change you've had to, to make lifestyle or, or basketball? Um, probably just eating habits. Um, I've always been good on you know watching what I eat as far as healthy food, but just probably proportions and you know really focus on staying, getting my carbs from um, you know healthier foods. What do you weigh now? I think coach was saying you got here last year about 271 or something. What are you at right now? I'm at 251. Mm-hmm. Um, well, yeah, I, I played my senior year in high school. I was 245. So, I mean, I'm not trying to get that low. Uh, I think if you know, I play around, you know, 247, 250, that'd be a good weight. Yeah, and uh, yeah, Coach Cliff was telling me how hard it was for someone to lose a bunch of weight like I have and to still, you know, maintain strength or even uh, build strength. So, I'm um, doing good on, uh, you know, losing the weight, but still, you know, getting stronger at the same time. So, uh, what, what have you seen? As far as a change in, in Duran since he's been here, I've just uh, seen a, a newfound determination in Duran. Um, like before, he would always talk about it, and um, when he first got here last year, it was always a confidence thing. But now he's just more confident. He sees the changes going on. We all see it, and we're just uh, going along with him, encouraging him as he's going along. And a lot of us have made changes with him. Uh, I know myself. Like I'd probably eat bad three out of the seven days a week, and then I saw what Duran was doing with his body. Said, why not? And just join along with him. I know you guys talk about the uh, maybe the injury was the impact uh, that Coach Marshall had because you guys remember the strength and conditioning and that kind of stuff. I just think he's done a great job with all of us uh, just uh, finding all of our different, I guess, strengths and weaknesses and adjusting each lift and workout to what we need, um, I guess. Because, like, say a guy like Freddie, who's already built as he is, I'm going to need to um, do probably a lot more extra work on my own than Freddie will. And he just finds the time to explain exactly what I need, explain uh, what it's going to do for my body and things like that. Having had the team practice yesterday, <clears throat> how different is it than what you guys had been used to before Coach Miller got here? Um, I just think having Duran and Freddie here this summer was the real big difference. And um, just we're all healthy. Um, we're all ready to go. And I just think having the team as a whole, everybody um, holding accountability for each other, I just think that's a big difference. Freddie, you guys, what, what have you seen from the, the freshmen so far? And, and what kind of impact have they, have they made coming in this summer? Um, I see a lot of you know uh, athleticism within all our freshmen, um, and I feel like they all all are pretty uh, versatile as well. And um, they, I don't feel like they they haven't you know missed a step, um, especially you know like me missing the summer and coming here late. I, they've been here the whole time, so they've been you know grinding with us all summer. So I feel like you know the biggest thing I see is the um, explosiveness out of all of them and the versatility. <clears throat> Um, it's, it's a lot, man. It's just, you know, able to get up down the court faster. Um, been working on my conditioning, uh, you know, trying to help me, you know, stay stay in games longer, play more minutes, and, you know, just makes my uh, makes me feel better, you know. It takes away a lot of the injuries um, that I had last year. So, you know, me being, you know, 20 pounds lighter, you know, those injuries, that, you know, little knick-knack injuries, you know, you don't really see too much. Do you think it helps here with uh, maybe fouling last this Yeah, season? yeah. You know, I, I used to foul a lot when I, you know, got tired. Or, you know, try to get a breather. So, you know, me, you know, getting in better shape, me losing, a, um, you know, the weight, you know, take away some of those foul-prone uh, injuries, you know. So on the two guys you came in with are gone. I mean, <laughs> how different is that for you not having those guys here now? Uh, it's a lot different, honestly, because um, even though both of them were clearly bigger than I was, I just always called them a little brother just because I was always older and I was the more mature one out of the three of us. And... <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's gonna be a different feel, I guess. But at the same time, we're still in constant contact with each other, and so just gotta keep going, I guess. I guess for other you guys, you both talked about the impact Coach Marshall's had on you physically and whatever. But, but 
what's it like working with him? I mean, just, just what's different about his approach and, and what maybe really makes him kind of have the effect he does on you guys? Um, I mean, he's really he's a, he's a real laid back dude, in my opinion. Um, you know, he attacks everything. Uh, he goes by the uh, goes by the Bible. Uh, I think he's just a good hearted dude at heart. Um, everything with him is more, you know, you know, um, how does he say it? He says uh, time and attention with him. So you know, everything with him is just real, you know, real smooth and real, you know, collective. You mentioned physically the strides that you've made, but what have you guys made from a preparation in terms of being in a different leadership role, and how has the mentality changed from last summer to now? I think um, me personally, I just have to take more responsibility and not just sit back and try to help him side. I think I have to take initiative and actually put myself out there more and uh, show the guys how it's supposed to be done and make sure everybody knows exactly what it is and not just taking one at a time. Juwan Rosa, you addressed this earlier, saying having all the guys healthy in these offseason workouts is kind of building and bringing you all together. Given the fact there is new leadership, how key will that be going forward in this offseason and into next season, the fact everyone is here and healthy at this time? Um, I think it just gives everybody a better feel for each other. Um, building that chemistry on the court, just playing open gym, as well as being in the practice, going at each other. Um, it just being healthy gives you I guess another advantage over some teams that probably start a little bit later or teams that aren't uh, playing as much as you guys are as we are over the um, course of the week. Juwan, I know it's early, but what's the biggest difference you see in this team from, from, from a year ago that, that the fans are going to notice right when you see you guys start the season? I feel like uh, there won't be any questions of leadership at all. Um, personally, I think I will. First, I think I will most uh, likely do that. But um, Colin is still right there. Rob, as uh, Josh has started speaking up more, I think everybody will take part in it. Did that come from the coaching staff that needed to happen, or was that something you guys? Uh, that was something we decided on upon ourselves um, because we realized uh, missing Colin last year. Like I used to, me and OG used to joke about it, calling. Colin, that uh, annoying guy that you always hated hearing, but you knew he was right, and that was I think that's what we really missed last year. Ron, it is so early, but what is Coach Miller like on the court so far? What, what's his style like? You know. Um. Yeah, like you say, it's early. We, you know, but I feel like his style is he's, he's an energetic uh, coach. Um, he likes energy, um, and he he's, he's, he's real keen on the uh, details of the game.